Good morning, class. What we're going to do today is we will start with Unit 4. So what I need you guys to do, to do is to go to your Eagles platform, go to your section where you see your books, and select your subject. The subject we will be covering today is your English subject. So choose your English. Right then, you guys are going to get the option to select a level. Now, I'm only making one video. So the levels I will work with today is 7th, 8th, and freshmen in high school. But it's totally the same thing for the rest of my courses because you guys are all in the beginner's English group. So don't worry about that. It's totally okay if you're a sophomore, junior, or senior. You can still watch the same video. We're learning the same unit, which is Unit 4. So I'm going to click on the first level that I have. Once you're here, you should go to your Spectrum Student Book number 2. Click on that. Now, it takes a little bit to load, but once you're here, you see that the first thing we have is Unit 1. Don't forget to go to your menu on the side. Look for your Unit 4 which is what we're going to work on today. And right here, I have already have this set up. This is Unit 4, Lesson 18. And it's what we're going to talk about that today. But for you guys, if I'm not mistaken, the first thing that you would see is your Unit 4 Preview. And I want to start with this really quickly. The function and themes that we will learn about in Unit 4, first of all, is shopping for clothing. Then we're going to talk about the colors and the sizes. We're going to talk about the fitting of the clothing and how to ask for an opinion. For example, what do you think of this top? It seems a little tight. Do you think it looks good on me? Um, all that good stuff. We would finish lesson four, I mean unit four, with returning something to the store. We will also talk about complimenting someone, asking about store hours, and we will finish with identifying and talking about the prices. If you take a look at the forms on one side, we have our prepositions, colors and sizes, the word to and enough, and also the sense verbs. These sense verbs, we're going to talk about them probably in our next video. We will continue with the past of B with yes or no questions. Now, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget that this is something that we have been covering since day one. We started working with our verb to be in present form. Before we left school, we were working on the verb to be in the continuous form. And now, in Unit 4, you're going to see the past form with yes and no questions. And we will finish Unit 4 with the word which. Now, let's get to the good stuff. Unit 4, Lesson 18. I hope everyone got the chance to take their notebook home. If you didn't, it's okay. Relax. You can do this on a separate piece of paper. And once you get back to school, you can go ahead and paste it in your notebook. There's no problem. So, like I said, your title would be Unit 4, Lesson 18, and don't forget your date. Today we'll be covering Lesson 18 and 19. As you guys can see, Lesson 18, we're starting with a story. What you guys are going to have to do is listen to the story in order to answer the questions on the next page. So for this lesson, you have to do the figure it out. Exercise number one starts with a listening to the conversation and then choosing your options A or B. We're going to finish with number two, which is a true and false. And later, you have a matching. That's all you have to do for unit 18. You can work either on your tablet or you can work on your notebook. It's totally up to you.